Welcome to your Go Engineer success plan. There are a lot of great features offered as part of this plan, and we hope you'll be able to take advantage of each one. This video shows you how to access the most important features, including your customer portal account, scheduling application mentoring sessions, assigning users to self-paced training, and requesting technical support. Let's get started. You will access your success plan benefits in the Go Engineer customer portal. To access it, click on the login icon on the top right of goengineer.com or go directly to my.goengineer.com. If you haven't created a login yet, click on the blue Create Your Login button at the top and follow the steps to verify your email address. Once you've finished making your profile, or if you've already created a login, simply sign in with your email and password. The first page you'll see is called the dashboard. The dashboard displays an overview of your account activity and the contact information for your account manager and customer success manager. In the top left corner, you'll see your name and access level. This video is for users who have professional admin access to their account. If you do not see this level below your name, but you should be the administrator for your account, use the Contact Us form to request administrator level access. Below your name, you'll see your company name and the success plan level for your organization. If there is an arrow to the right of your company name, it means you are listed as a contact on multiple accounts. You can access your other accounts by selecting them from the dropdown. Towards the bottom of the dashboard, you'll find the application mentoring session summary. This section gives you a glimpse into all sessions used by your company, including your remaining sessions for the year. Remember, the session count resets at the end of each calendar year, so be sure to plan ahead. To schedule a session, simply click the Schedule Session button at the bottom. You'll be presented with the available options for topics you'd like to cover. Set the topic that best matches the application and topic you're interested in, and find a time that works for you. Now let's look at how to enroll users in a supported self-paced training session. On the left-hand side of the screen, select the Training tab. You'll see a list of all the training you're currently enrolled in. If you select the Training Plan tab at the top, you can select your training plan and add users by clicking Add User. Select the user from the list and click Add. If a user is missing from the list and you want to add them, go to the Users tab and select Create New User. The user will need to finish creating their account before they can access the training. Finally, Let's review how to create and manage your technical support cases in the customer portal. Select the Tech Support tab on the left-hand side. Here, you can see all cases in progress, all closed cases, and all cases that have been archived, meaning they've been closed for more than 12 months. To create a new case, select Create New Case. Select the area you are experiencing problems with, and complete the subject and message fields. Remember, the more detail you can provide, the faster we'll be able to find a solution. Finally, Attach any relevant files, such as screenshots or Solid RX captures, and click the Send button. We hope this gives you a solid foundation from which you can start taking advantage of your new success plan. If you have any questions, please be sure to reach out to your customer success manager, whose contact information is listed on your dashboard.